Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from First Cry Parenting. Diphtheria tetanus pertussis (DTAP) vaccine for children. Vaccines play a crucial role in developing antibodies that help in strengthening a child's immune system and protecting him from dangerous viruses. The DTaP vaccine for babies is an injectable vaccine shot used to treat three different infant illnesses: diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis (whooping cough). While anyone of any age can catch any of these three illnesses, children are especially susceptible as their immune systems are not fully developed what are the benefits of dtap vaccine as mentioned earlier the dtap vaccine is used to create antibodies that combat the three diseases diphtheria tetanus and pertussis let's take a detailed look at each disease diphtheria Diphtheria is a contagious bacterial infection that can be extremely dangerous for children under the age of 5 and adults over the age of 40. If it's not treated quickly, the bacteria caused by it can infect multiple organs and lead to multiple organ failure, heart failure, and paralysis. Tetanus Tetanus is not a contagious disease and is caused by bacteria that live in the soil and dust. These bacteria enter through cuts and punctures on the skin. Tetanus is also known as locked jaw and causes severe muscle spasms, seizures, and even paralysis and death. Of all the conditions of tetanus reported, over 10% end up being fatal. Pertussis The bacterial disease is highly infectious and causes a cough so severe that even talking, eating, and drinking becomes impossible. Pertussis can worsen and cause other complications like pneumonia, seizures, brain damage, and even death. Proposed DTaP vaccine schedule. Doctors recommend that this shot be given to a child in 5 doses. which should be spread out over 6 years recommended ages the recommended schedule for the shots is 3 shots during the first year at the age of 1.5 months 2.5 months and 3.5 months then the first booster dose at the age of 1.5 years and the second booster between 4 to 5 years of age along with a Tdap shot between the age of 9 to 14 years. After that, a booster of TD can be given every 10 years. Adults older than 18 years or pregnant women who were never vaccinated can be given one dose of Tdap followed by two doses of TD at 1 month and 6 to 12 months. Recommended number of doses 0 to 6 years 5 shots of Tdap 9 to 14 years 1 shot of Tdap as adults 1 shot of Tdap followed by booster doses of TD every 10 years risks and side effects of Tdap vaccine a loss of appetite weakness vomiting fever up to 101 degrees fahrenheit swelling and tenderness at the injection site fussiness and crying for extended periods seizures who should avoid dtap vaccination children either wait or not get the vaccine due to allergic reaction to the previous dose illnesses that weaken the immune system a seizure caused by the vaccine's initial dose vaccines are the best way to ensure that your child does not suffer from ailments that can be easily avoided talk to your child's healthcare provider to understand which vaccines your child should get and when